First, let's unbox the stuff here. We start with the uh, that's the power supply. Let's start with the NCDX. It comes like this in a box, and inside the box you find a little bag with a, a power supply plug like this one and a couple of screws. The amplifier module itself is inside this uh, static protection bag which protects it during the transport and then we have also anti-static material here which is uh, absorbing punches during the transportation so it's not very uh, sensitive to static electricity you just do this as a precaution so this is what the module looks like when you get it out. You have a small screen here. You have the discrete part of the amplifier, which is a discrete operational amplifier. And on the other side here you have the output coil and you have the power transistors here and the power plug here. We'll come back to that. The input output connectors, connectors are on this end here. Let's take a closer look at it. So here you see the module. On this side you have the output connectors here and the input connectors here. You have a fully balanced input and you have also a tube input here which is basically with a little bit lower gain and also it has a DC blocking capacitor here. You only use that if you're using a tube preamplifier. On the other end you have the power plug here, which is for plus minus 60 volt DC, and also a gate drive supply. We'll come back to that later. This is the output inductor with a coil made of silver plated wire with Teflon insulation for high sound quality. So this is basically what it looks like. On this display here you can, you can see the supply voltage and if there's any anything wrong detected by the system processor which is here um, you, you'll get a message about that so you know if one of the supply lines is missing or something like that too high voltage too low voltage like that okay so let's unbox the power supply this is the new class D power supply for amplifiers and it comes like this in our box Inside you find some plugs to connect it, some screws to assemble it, they are here. The main electrolytic capacitors, which I will take out, so we can see them. This particular one is the 15,000 volt uh, microfarad and 80 volt version from Nippon Chemicon. Very good capacitors. We have also other versions from different manufacturers. Then there's um, the main board. Electrostatic bag. It's not very sensitive to electrostatic uh, destruction, so it's just a precaution. So here we have the main board. It's a four layer circuit board with the gold plating on top. I don't know if you can see it here on the camera, but uh, what this does is uh, the, the inner layers are actually ground planes, so uh, inside is one big chunk or square of copper which is going to conduct the power to and from the main capacitor. So this one has a very very high power capacity and it also has a very low impedance. You cannot do this better with wires. So, on the back here you find diodes for rectification. It's not a standard power supply as such because you might notice we use eight diodes, not four, which would be standard. This is because we have one rectifier for plus and one for minus. Why would we want to have that when everybody has just one for both plus and minus? Well, it's because if you have only one, you're going to pass all the charging current for the capacitors through the ground point, which 
is inevitably going to get a noise in the background. We can avoid this by using two separate rectifier bridges. And the diodes here, they are um, they're not standard diodes, they are soft recovery diodes, 60 amps average current and just 30 nanosecond rec uh, recovery time. So they'll create very little switching noise. Very good diodes. In the box you also have these insulation pads here. They are intended to isolate the metal sides of this diode from the bottom plate. I'm going to come back to that in a minute. Here's the bottom plate we supply with the power supply. And it has all the holes pre-drilled, just ready to go. Nice and easy to work with. So um, I'm going to show you how to assemble that.